Well, the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, is out there spruiking today how they're going to put out more apprenticeship schemes in Australia. Well, you know what? It wasn't your scheme, Scott Morrison. It was mine, the one that I've been spruiking for the last 20 years to get jobs for our young kids in Australia instead of bringing skilled migrants in from overseas. Actually, I have the proof here, a signed document from Matisse Corman, and actually it states about the apprenticeship scheme and for the first year, 75%, the second year, 50%, the third year, 20 for those in rural and regional areas. Here's the document here. And also, it says here, this is what I like this part, I appreciate you bringing these policies, proposals to my attention and look forward to working with you in the future to deliver positive policy outcomes for all Australians. Then why are you putting One Nation behind Labor. You're sending your preferences to Labor before One Nation. And I'd also like to say, I'm in the cane fields, right? The cane growers, the ones that they were not fighting for with the code of conduct just to support the cane growers who were going to go under by the multinationals. Who actually got that, Scott Morrison? It was myself, because I abstained from voting on the floor of Parliament until you got the code of conduct for the cane growers. You had it in your hands, the coalition government, for a year and a half and did absolutely nothing and I actually got it in a few hours because I was determined to work hard and fight for them till they actually got it. So I tell you people out there, you know, you want to think twice who you're voting for at this election because I've proven on the floor of parliament I will fight for you and I won't give up on issues that I truly believe are worth fighting for. So please think seriously about who you're going to vote for at this election and I hope you give One Nation your number one vote and I will very much appreciate it.